Hi there. It's been a while. That's not entirely unrelated to the fact that last year I completed two of the hardest things I've done in my life. A 100 km race and a PhD. These two things were as different as they were difficult. I don't think it needs much explanation that doing theoretical research, mostly seated at a desk, has little in common with running. But the differences went deeper. For the 100k, I was significantly undertrained. While for my PhD defense, I felt surprisingly prepared. Much better than I did for the next academic challenge of writing a grant proposal. A big part of the reason that I ran the 100k was that putting the final touches on my thesis was taking longer than expected, and I needed a short term goal. So even my motivation was somehow in juxtaposition with the PhD. Though, doubling the longest distance I had ever run before was probably not the wisest choice for a short-term goal. The only real confidence I had for the 100k came from the fact that a 50km trail a few weeks earlier went very well. In fact, it went so well that I couldn't make a good video out of it. A near-perfect run is not a good story to tell. The story of the 100k, on the other hand, was so overwhelming that I couldn't figure out how to tell it. So I won't. Also because I'm still not able to. Not really, anyway. It was hard. But I had great support on race day. I still suffered. But I made it. And the course was 20 repeats of the same boring loop in overcast weather. So basically you've seen all 11 hours of my race in these 15 seconds. Here's a question though, if I can finish 100 kilometers with less than 2 months of specific preparation, why is it sometimes so hard to get off of the couch to run 10? Often the hardest part of a training run is getting out the door. The hardest part is getting started. And so it is too with writing a PhD thesis, or a grant proposal. Seriously, spending a month on that left me more emotionally drained than any part of doing the PhD. And I'm still waiting to hear if it got approved, so uh, here's hoping that it was not a waste of my time and sanity. Maybe the reason is that to write a good proposal you need to get frequent feedback from colleagues and based on that input you essentially start over again and again. And getting started is yeah, the hardest part. Once you are well on your way though, you find exciting things that drive you on. Whether it is a sudden insight into a theory, a surprising wildlife encounter, a tiny scientific discovery, or a fun trail with blossoming trees, there is almost always something to inspire you and to push you on to explore more. And you know what? The runs that I almost didn't get off the couch for, those are usually the ones that I enjoy most.